I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a Native American storyteller pottery. I take two fingers from the top in the center and underneath I put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw curve line down, curve line over, curve line up, and connect. I come on the left hand side and I'm going to draw a curve line down, up, connect. On the right hand side, curve line down, up, connect. I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw another curve line, up, over, connect. And right back to the left I'm going to draw another curve line up, over, connect. I come inside and I draw a curve line on the left and a curve line on the right. I come back to the left and on top I draw a little curve line on the left and a little curve line on the right. In the center, curve line, leave it floating, and underneath I'm going to draw a baby circle. Okay. I come back up to this space right here and I'm just going to draw straight lines. We're all going to have a different amount because we all draw differently. Now I come back and I draw little straight lines in between those straight lines all the way across. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, I come back over here on the left and I'm going to draw a curve line down, around, up, back, and connect. On the right hand side I'm going to do the same thing, curve line down, around, connect, up, back over, and connect. Inside, I'm going to draw one, two, three baby circles. I come on the left and I draw a curve line out, connect, curve line out, connect. Come to the middle one, curve line out, connect, curve line out, connect. Come to the last one, curve line out, connect, Curve line out, connect. Come back to the first one. Wavy, wavy line, connect. Second one, wavy, wavy line, connect. Third one, wavy, wavy line, connect. Come back to the first one. Put a dot, little straight line, dot, little straight line, baby circle. Second one, dot, little straight line, dot, little straight line, baby circle. One more, little straight line, dot, little straight line, dot, baby circle. Now I jump over, don't draw through your drawing, and I draw a straight line, curve line, up, connect, straight line, curve line, over, connect. Come to the middle one. Straight line, curve line, up, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Come to the last one. Straight line, curve line, straight line, up, connect. Straight line, curve line, connect. Come back over here on the left and just draw a curve line, curve line, curve line, Curve line, curve line, curve line, connect. Okay. Come back to the top. One, two curved lines, one, two curved lines. One, two curved lines, 
one, two curved lines. One, two curved lines. One, two curved lines. Okay. Starting right about here, we're just going to draw straight diagonal out, curve line in, curve line up, straight line, curve line up, curve line, straight diagonal up, connect. Right here we draw a curve line over, up, little curve line inside, second one, little curve line up, second curve line in. Alright, come over here on the left, we're going to draw a straight diagonal, curve line down, connect, and we're going to go one curve line, two curve lines. Come on the right hand side, same thing, straight curve line, curve line, one, two curve lines. Okay, starting on the left right here, I draw a straight line out, jump over, straight line out on the right. I'm going to go ahead and color this part black. Okay, on the left, on the right, and I'm going to color this space also black. Okay, try and get that in good. Then come down here, color in these baby circles black, and this space black. Now you can do this with crayon. I'm just doing this because I have this out so I don't forget. But you can use black crayon. I'm using this just because I have it out. Then in the background, I'm going to make little tiny dots to fill up this background space. I'm using black all the way down on this part of the background. Okay? Alright. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is color in my face. So these spaces are ears. I'm going to color these in brown. Lightly, not too dark. You don't want to lose your details. I'm going to color this brown. lightly. And some of you who have multicultural crayons you can use a different color brown if you wish, but this is just regular brown. Then I'm going to come down to these little kids and I'm going to color their faces brown and this part brown. So these are all brown. Okay. Now, I'm going to also color in my arms, this space, and this space. Whoops. Take your time. And I'm going to take my brown and color, not color, but make some stripes on this bottom space. Okay? That's all my browns. Then, I'm going to take my black and I'm going to color this space black. And this is when you could also do your details black, but I already did that. And I'm just going to add one, two, three, one, two, three little straight lines. Okay. Next, I take my turquoise, blue-green, and I color this space, turquoise, blue-green. Okay. And I'm going to color this little band. This should be blue green also and this is part of my hairdo this should be black and this should be black 
Now, I think that's pretty much what I decided to do. Now, the rest of this, you can color any which way you want. I used pink on this part just so that my little kids would pop out a little bit against the pink. So I did this part pink. Okay, but like I said, you can do these any colors you want. I did this little guy orange. I did this little guy red violet. I did the storyteller shoes red violet. And like I said, you can make all kinds of different arrangements on your colors. These are just the ones I used. Then, came back in with some green. Did my little bracelets. These are green. I did this green. I did this little guy, Red Violet. I did these shoes, Red Violet. I did this turquoise. Well, you'll see when I show you the back, the last one, I've kind of mixed up all my colors. I did this Red Violet. Okay? Then the big part, whoops. We got this little guy. He's blue green also. And then the big part right here I did blue. So I'll do this all blue. And some of you might want to use Southwest colors. Totally up to you. Totally up to you. But I did this blue. Regular blue. Okay. And I did my shoes orange. I think that's all. Cute. Alright, let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my Native American storyteller, all colored in. This represents the oral tradition, generation to generation, of Pueblo storytellers. Okay, bye-bye.